So in question one, we have to solve the pair of linear equations using the substitution method. So we are given six pairs of equations and each pair has to be solved using the substitution method. So what is the substitution method? Well, it's very simple. You take any of the two equations and write one variable in terms of the other. So for example, if I take this first pair, I have two equations. I can use the use the first equation to write y in terms of x. Then I can substitute that value of y into the second equation and get an equation in x alone and find the value of x. And once I have found the value of x, I can substitute back substitute that value back into either of the two equations and get the value of y. So this is what the substitution method is and its application will become a lot clearer as we solve each part. So let's start with the first pair which is x plus y equal to 14 and x minus y equal to 4. So let's use the first equation and write y in terms of x. By the way, I can do it either way. I can write x in terms of y or I can write y in terms of x and I can use either equation to do that. It does not matter. So I'm taking the first equation and I'm writing y in terms of x. So that will be y equal to 14 minus x. Now I need to substitute this value of y into the second equation. So the second equation is x minus y equal to 4. So instead of y, I will write 14 minus x. So x minus 14 minus x equal to 4. Now this is an equation in x alone. So now we can find the value of x. So if I open the bracket, I get x minus 14 plus x equal to 4 or 2x equal to 18 or x equal to 9. So I have managed to find the value of x as 9. Now I can substitute this value back into any of the two equations. Uh, so let me substitute x equal to 9 back into this equation y equal to 14 minus x and that will give me y equal to 14 minus 9 or 5. So the solution of the first pair of equations is x equal to 9 and y equal to 5. Now let's solve the second pair of equations. The second pair is s minus t equal to 3 and s by 3 plus t by 2 equal to 6. So let's take the first equation and write s in terms of t. So s minus t is equal to 3 or s is equal to t plus 3. Now let's substitute this value of s in terms of t into the second equation. So the second equation is s by 3 plus t by 2 is equal to 6. So instead of s, we can write t plus 3. So instead of s, I will write t plus 3. So this is the substitution. And then plus t by 2 is equal to 6. Now this is an equation in t alone. So using this equation, we can find the value of t. So let's take the LCM. So I get 2 times t plus 3 plus 3 times t by 6 is equal to 6. So this gives me 2t plus 6 plus 3t and I cross multiply this 6 to the right side. So that gives me 36 and this is actually 2t plus 3t or 5t plus 6 is equal to 36 or 5t is equal to 30 or t is equal to 6. So we got the value of t as 6 and now we can use this value of t to find the value of s using this equation. So s is equal to t plus 3 which means that s is equal to 9. 
So the solution of the second pair of equations is s is equal to 9 and t is equal to 6. Now let's solve the third pair of equations. So the third pair is 3x minus y is equal to 3 and 9x minus 3y is equal to 9. So in the first equation, using the first equation, I can write y in terms of x. So I can write y as 3x minus 3. And now I will substitute this value of y into the second equation. So the second equation is 9x minus 3y equal to 9. So in this equation, instead of y, I will write 3x minus 3. So what will I get? I will get 9x minus 3 times. And instead of y, I write 3x minus 3. So this is the substitution that I'm doing. And this is equal to 9. Now, this equation is an equation in x alone. So let's see what we get if we simplify this. So we get 9x minus 3 times 3x is 9x. And then minus 3 times minus 3 is plus 9 equal to 9. But what's happening here is these terms 9x and 9x, they are getting cancelled out. So all I'm left with is 9 equal to 9. So this equation has no variable and it is true. And this points to the fact that this pair of equations has infinitely many solutions. And in fact, if you observe the equations closely, the second equation is just the first equation multiplied by 3. So you, you have your first equation as 3x minus y equal to 3. If you multiply this equation by 3 on both sides, you get 9x minus 3y equal to 9. So the two equations basically are identical. They represent the same line when they are graphed. So that is why we are getting this equation free of any variables. And this means that this pair has infinitely many solutions. In the fourth part, the pair of equations uh, are 0.2x plus 0.3y is equal to 1.3 and 0.4x plus 0.5y is 2.3. Now, before we use the substitution method to solve this pair, one thing we can do to make our work easier is to simplify the coefficients a little bit. So we see that all the coefficients have uh, our decimal numbers with one digit after the decimal point. So if we multiply both equations by 10, this will not change the two equations, but it will turn the coefficients into integers and it will make our manipulation process a little bit easier. So by doing this, the pair of equations can be rewritten as 2x plus 3y equal to 13 and 4x plus 5y equal to 23. And this pair, remember that this pair is actually identical to the first pair. All we have done is rewritten the equations by multiplying both the equations by some constant number. Okay, now let's solve this rewritten pair using the substitution method. So in the using the first equation, let's write y in terms of x. So we have 2x plus 3y equal to 13, which means that 3y is equal to 13 minus 2x or y is equal to 13 minus 2x by 3. Now I will substitute this value of y into the second equation. So the second equation is 4x plus 5y equal to 23. So instead of y, we will write this expression in x. So we will substitute this expression. So that will be 13 minus 2x by 3. And this is equal to 23. Now, this is an equation in x alone. So let's solve it to get the value of x. 
So we add these two terms 4x and this term by taking an LCM of 3. So we get 12x plus here we multiply 5 with 13 minus 2x. So we get 65 minus 10x by 3. So this is equal to 23. So in the numerator we get 12x minus 10x. So that's 2x and we have 65. And now I can cross multiply this 3 to the right side. So I get this as 69. And this gives me 2x equal to 69 minus 65 or 4. So 2x is equal to 4, which means that x is equal to 2. Now we got the value of x. Let's substitute it, it into this expression to get the value of y. So y will be equal to 13 minus 2x or 4 by 3 or 13 minus 4 is 9 and 9 by 3 is 3. So the solution to this pair is x equal to 2 and y is equal to 3. So this is the solution to this fourth pair of equations. In the fifth part, the pair of equations is root 2x plus root 3y equal to 0 and root 3x minus root 8y is equal to 0. So let's take the first equation and use it to write y in terms of x. So we have root 2x plus root 3y equal to 0, which means that root 3y is equal to minus root 2x. And this means that y is equal to minus root 2 by root 3 times x. So we have written y in terms of x. Now let's substitute this value of y into the second equation. So the second equation is root 3x minus root 8 y equal to 0. So instead of y, let's write this expression in x. So we have minus root 8 times minus root 2 by root 3 x and this is equal to 0. So this equation is now an equation in x alone. So let's simplify it and find the value of x. So we get root 3 x plus so we have minus and minus so that gives us plus and then we have root 8 into root 2 that's root 16 or 4. So we have 4 by root 3 x is equal to 0. So this gives us if I take out the factor of x common. So we have root 3 plus 4 by root 3 times x is equal to 0. So some non zero number times x is equal to 0, which can only mean that x itself is equal to 0. And if x is equal to 0, then y is equal to this non zero number times x. So y is also equal to 0. So the solution of this pair of linear equations is x equal to 0 and y is equal to 0. In fact, you could have concluded that this is the solution directly by observing the given pair in both equations there is no constant term and when a linear equation has no constant term and it has both x and y terms but no constant terms then 0 comma 0 will satisfy that equation in other words if you draw the graph of that equation it will pass through the origin so in this case both these equations the lines for both these equations will pass through 0 comma 0 or the lines will pass through the origin which means that their point of intersection will be the origin 0 comma 0 and hence the solution is x equal to 0 and y equal to 0. In the sixth part the pair of equations is 3x by 2 minus 5y by 3 equal to minus 2 and x by 3 plus y by 2 equal to 13 by 6. So once again, the coefficients here are fractional. So let's rewrite the two equations 
so that the coefficients are integers and our manipulation process our simplification process of substitution it becomes easy so the denominators are 2 and 3 in the fractional terms so let's multiply both equations by 6 so what will I get if I do that so the first equation will become 3x by 2 times 6 which is 9x minus 5y by 3 times 6 so that's 10y so 9x minus 10y is equal to minus 12 minus 2 times 6 and then in the second equation I will get x by 3 times 6 or 2x and then y by 2 times 6 so that's 3y is equal to 13 so I have rewritten this pair of equations as this pair it it has not changed the pair at all in terms of its solutions or anything but the only thing it has done is simplified the coefficients and that will help us do the substitution process in a in an easier manner okay now let's take the first equation of this pair which is 9x minus 10y equal to minus 12 and use it to write y in terms of x so we have 9x minus 10y equal to minus 12 which gives us minus 10y or let me take minus 10y to this side so that gives me plus 10y equal to 9x plus 12 and this gives me y equal to 9x plus 12 by 10 now I will substitute this value of y into the second equation so the second equation is 2x plus 3y is equal to 13 so 2x plus 3 and instead of y I will write 9x plus 12 by 10 and this is equal to 13 now I have an equation in x alone so I can solve it to find the value of x so I have this term 2x and I have this term which has a denominator of 10 so let's take the LCM so I get 20x plus 3 times this numerator so that's 27x plus 36 and then I have by 10 so this is equal to 13 so this gives me so 20x plus 27x is 47x plus 36 this is equal to 130 or x or 47x is equal to 130 minus 36 which is 94 so 47x is equal to 94 which means that x is equal to 94 by 47 which is 2 so x is equal to 2 and now I can use this equation to find y in terms of x so y is equal to 9x which is 18 plus 12 by 10 so that's 18 plus 12 is 30 so 30 by 10 is 3 so x is equal to 2 and y equal to 3 is the solution of this pair of equations which we rewrote as this pair to help us simplify our manipulation process so with that all the six parts of this question are done to learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams explore QMath Leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers